Okay, so this <laughs> this is a fun one. Um, <clears throat> how uh, many of you actually allow your kids to see you naked? I mean, it's and for them to be naked. Like, actually, I live in the South. It's naked. It's not even naked. It's naked. Like, naked as a jaybird. And I don't know why jaybirds are naked. I have no idea. But for this talk, it's we're going with naked because I'm in the South. So, I, I've never thought anything about it. I, I've been in healthcare 31 years. So, I, everyone's naked. Everyone is naked. I mean, <clears throat> everyone. So, I really, I really don't think anything of it. But I don't, my parents didn't make anything of it. Like, there's a picture of me and my little brother. Like, we're like 10 and 12. Like, my kid's age. Buck naked, standing holding fish, proudly that we caught somewhere. And we're both just completely like full frontal naked. Um, and I love that they were like, oh, let's take a picture. <laughs> so, and I actually remember where that was, where it was taken and everything. Um, <clears throat> but my kids see me naked all the time. They're 10 and 12. One is a boy, one is a girl. So for all the haters, get your information right. The boy's 10, the girl's 12. Um, and here's the deal. God willing, these kids are going to be wiping my butt when I'm 95 years old. Y'all, this is as good as they're going to remember it right here. Like when things are still, you know, pretty much in their place and a little still kind of perky, but it's not. Nothing's going to be in its place at 95. I, as hard as I try, y'all, nothing's going to be in its right place at 95. And it's not going to look, it ain't going to look like this. I can, I can tell you right now. So I just want them to remember, to like, oh yeah, I remember mom. She was, she was all right. Um, but they, like, I, I can be in the bathroom or in my closet or wherever, changing clothes, completely buck naked. And I don't know, is it buck naked or butt naked? Somebody let me know that down below because I don't know if it's butt naked or buck naked. I kind of think it's buck, but I'm not sure. Anyway, naked as a jaybird. <clears throat> I'll be completely naked, changing clothes or doing, getting in the shower. And <laughs> my kids will walk in and just be like, hey, mom, listen, I've got homework. And, and it just, they don't see it, you guys, because we've never made it anything dirty. It's, the, it's a human body, y'all. I don't want my kids growing up thinking that, ooh, I don't want to see you naked. That's forbidden or that's dirty. I don't want them to see the human body as dirty. Um, I mean, it, is it a, a, a sexual body? Yes, of course it is. But they're not in an age where they're looking at anything like that. And for goodness sakes, I see people naked all the time and the sexual is not that it never enters my mind. But I don't want them to, your body is also what you use to, you know, to get around. It's, it's, it, you use it, if God willing, for everything you do. So, and you need to take care of it. And um, I need to be taking better care of mine. Um, but I know some people are, are not like that. And, and we just kind of made a, it, it was a conscious decision. But then, since then, it's just like, I don't know where it stopped. Uh, my mother-in-law said, I said, I was standing in the shower, I don't know, maybe last year, year before, and I was washing my hair and all of a sudden I'm like, what's that smell? And I turn around and Miles, who had been at basketball practice, <laughs> is standing there and he's like, can you help me wash my hair? I don't get it really as clean as I should. And I was like, okay. Like I was really wanting to take a shower by myself. But it, he just needed me to help him with his hair. So he just got in. Um, but I love that. I love that they don't think anything bad about it or they don't think it's forbidden or dirty or, you know, anything like that. So, um, so yeah, I don't know how many other people are cool like that, cool with that. Oh, I said cool like that. That may have been, may have been subconscious. Um, but you know, some people aren't. I know that most women, after you have pushed out a baby in front of people, um, most women, after they've had a kid, are like, yeah, whatever. They don't care. Um, but sometimes before they've had kids, we do see a lot of women that are like very, you know, hold the curtain, make sure to hold the curtain. I'm changing clothes. 
And yeah, I know as kids hit puberty, which my kids are prepubescent, but as they hit puberty, you know, they're weirded out because their body's changing. And I get that. My kids will totally probably be like, okay, peace out, mom. I got hair here. But, um, and maybe they'll be like, mom, put some clothes on. I don't know. I mean, at some point they'll probably tell me to. Because uh, my mother-in-law said, you know, I said, when are they going to stop getting in the shower with me? And she said, when they're ready. So I assume when they're ready. I'm not running them off anytime soon. But um, because we just don't think about it. I guess I've said that a few times. <clears throat> but it's because it's true. Anyway, I'm just curious who else out there um, is, is comfortable or making it comfortable with their, with their kids. Or if you're uncomfortable, are you making your kids uncomfortable as well? So, um, and everybody's different. So not everybody is going to be comfortable. But... And it's not like I'm super you know, proud or anything. I'm like, I don't know, 14 pounds overweight from last summer. So it's not like I'm, you know, walking around proud as a peacock. That's not it. I just, A, don't want to have to lock doors all the time to change clothes. So it's laziness. And B, I don't want my kids thinking the human body's dirty. So those are my thoughts for tonight. You guys have a good one.